it's time for revenge. Hey guys, Sibs on Tight Dude, and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver, the Nuzlocke Randomizer Challenge. For those who don't know what Nuzlocke is, and randomizer basically means that all the Pokemon that show up in each area besides like legendaries are completely randomized and could be any Pokemon in the game. It's done by this really cool program, you can probably look it up if you google randomizer, but I should mainly go over the rules of Nuzlocke first. It's three basic rules that makes the game a lot more interesting and a lot more enjoyable. First off, any Pokemon who faints that you catch is dead and they cannot be used, They put you put it in their PC box and you're done with him for the rest of the game. Secondly, you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter in an area. If you're not able to capture it, or you kill it, or it faints, wait, that's the same thing, whatever, you don't get another Pokemon, so you're stuck with just one Pokemon if you KO a guy on the first route. But if you don't have, say, Pokeballs, we'll get into specifics later, but I'll talk about that. And thirdly, and what screwed me over, and why I said we're getting revenge, if you haven't, if you don't know, I did a Nuzlocke Let's Play Pokemon Crystal, and I thought when to redo it, I'd do Soul Silver because I know the special and physical attacks, they changed it, and it's better in this generation, I know the game better, is I failed that on Bugsy at the second gym. I got completely destroyed by a Scyther. So, I'm coming back for revenge, and it was really fun Let's Play the Make, and I wanted to finish it out. So, yeah, that's basically the intro to this, and I'll hopefully be able to... No! We don't need to see the loading stuff again! Where's my star button? Okay, there we go. So, let me stop blathering on, and let's hopefully get through Oak's little speech as fast as possible, because I would love to skip it. No, I don't need control info. We don't need to make this as painful as possible. I just want to get in and start playing. <sighs> oh, what? Is it already that late? Oh, no, I overslept. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor, even though there's like six or seven more of those. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Like an adorable little Meryl. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Won't you please tell me? I, it's sad that he can't tell by just looking at us, but we are obviously, uh... I'll go, give me a sec, I gotta check. Okay, yep, I'm good. I'm a boy. So you're a boy, then? Yes, indeed. I'm a real boy! Please tell me your name. Well, if you don't know already, I seem to mention a lot. My name is Scott. Hey, that rhymed! I'm a poet, and I completely knew about it. And Scott, yeah. I hate not... I don't know when I played it as a kid, I always did all capitals, and then as I played through the game, I would slowly hate myself for doing that, because it would look really weird. Yes, thank you. Scott, are you ready? Ready for what? Your very own tale of a grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences, there's so much waiting for you. <laughs> you just named two things, like good things, bad things. That, that's pretty much it. That's all that's waiting for you. Dreams, adventure. See, if you would have clamped that with the clamp, combine that with the other thing, it would have sound better. Dreams, adventure. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. Smell you later, fool. Oh, I forgot. I should have added... I was thinking about adding in the weird... Uh, there's an item in this game that lets you make all the music 8-bit. Because I really, really love the 8-bit versions of all these songs. Maybe I'll do it for <coughs> a later episode. But I really love the 8-bit versions of all these songs so much better than... I mean, they're still good remastered because it's the same song. But I love the 8-bit music. Hi, Scott. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra... Lyra? Lyra, I do not remember a Lyra ever playing through this game before. She was playing hide and seek with her Mara. Oh, adorable. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Allen, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? Right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. Here's your trainer card. Here you can save a record of your progress. These are also rather helpful. Just try touching the buttons and you know what to do in no time. I like how there's no super tutorial because they assume people who are playing Soul Silver have played the Pokemon series before and they don't give them the talk around except for that little oak thing, which I mean, it is necessary. And. Na, 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 na. I, I, st I like the 8 bit version better, sorry. I, I like how they remastered all the songs, but. Oh, this is that girl whose name I already forget. I know Meryl's name, no, because Meryl's adorable and that girl's. Ugh, my rival! Even though I don't think she's my rival at all. And no, she doesn't even talk to us. She's just like, lets her Meryl beat us up. And also, I love how the mother has to make sure that we know where we're going when there's literally... Is it four? There's two other houses in this town besides ours. 
So, I think we might know where the thing is. Hey, dude, what are you doing just creeping on someone's window? Hey, what's up? So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? You wanna go, bro? I mean, you're kinda trapped in a corner. If I had a Pokemon, oh, you'd be so dead right now. Let's just go visit Professor Elm. Maybe he'll give us one of those so we can kick your ass. And the, the Pokemon Lab theme, okay, I guess it's... It's a lot like the other one, but I just... Okay, I'll stop gushing over 8-bit music and how much I like it so much better. Hi, Scott. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented back in my day, people used to walk with Pokemon just like your friend Lyra does. <laughs> He's an old preacher, man. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with a Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Poke? Can you walk this Pokemon outside of the Pokeball to see if it brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you could choose from. Oh hey, I got an email. <laughs> I don't think emails like ring like that. If that'd be awesome if they got the the copyright from AOL, they'd be like, you got mail. Uh hmm. Okay. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying it's this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in my place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon from over there. And one of the awesome things about this uh, randomizer program is it doesn't necessarily have the starters in there. Hopefully, if it worked... But instead, it has other Pokemon that are that have two evolutions that could be in here that I get to choose from. So let's see what we got. Hopefully this doesn't glitch out the game. We have a Bellsprout, a, a Chikorita, regular starter, that would be nice, and a Bulbasaur. Ooh! Ooh. Huh. I really, I really like Meganum. I, and also, I love three grass starters too much. And also, I they actually, it works with random Pokemon. It doesn't, like, glitch out the game. I think that's kind of cool. Oh, no, but the, the text, like, this is where Totodile should be. And this is where uh, Cinequil should be. So, I think I, I would love to go with Bulbasaur if I haven't recently played through the game with Bulbasaur. But, uh... I recently played through uh, Pokemon X and Y, and I picked Bulbasaur as my second starter. So I'm going to go with Chikorita, fitting to the game. He's sort of randomized. He's supposed to be Cyndaquil, so it's not me copying out. I'm just going to take this Chikorita. Also, I love Meganum because she's adorable. Oh, that, she looks so... Chikorita looks so stupid following behind me. It's just like a little blob with a leaf on it. Give a nickname to Chik... Oh, no! I forgot about this part of Let's Playing Pokemon games. Okay. Clever. Hmm. I think I'll go with something easy. And we're going to make this a very seasonal thing. And we're going to go with Basil. Basil the Bayleaf. Isn't that adorable? Yes, it is. Is Basil the nickname you want to give? Ah, uh, yes. Hey, see, my creativity is on point, even though I just did, because Bayleaf sounds like a sort of seasoning, so I went with Basil. I don't have to explain to you. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, isn't it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His, pass his house is past Cherry Grove City. North a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Scott. So let's head on out. Oh, is this eight? Does this eight give us Pokeballs right off the bat? Uh, oh, potions. No. I hate how even in the first game, you have to walk all the way and then get uh, Pokeballs. You can't, all the Pokemon you've seen your first time and you've he heard the horror stories of people finding shinies on their way there when they can't catch it. And this lady's freaking out with her mouth again. Are we actually going to talk to her now? Oh God, is that Chikorita's face? That looks so like... It, it just looks creepy and scary. It's just like, Ugh. Scott, Lyra, 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 Lyra. So you picked up Chikorita. His, her, her name is Basil or Basil. I don't know. That's cute, a Pokemon you have. When you walk it, you'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes too. Oh, that's right. You should show it to your mom. See ya. Oh yeah, we have to say goodbye to her. Oh, look, they're talking. It's adorable. Except Chikorita looks so scary. <laughs> is it just that angle? Can I, nope, she just looks really scary. I'm going to talk to you, Chikorita. Do you feel good, at least? Oh, there's a leaf. <laughs> yeah, it's on your head. <laughs> ah, Chikorita is probably dumb. And I should probably check if he's a guy or a girl so I can stop being so rude to it. Let's go on our Pokemon screen. 
Hopefully it's a girl. Yeah, Basil's a much more fitting name for a girl. See, that sprite looks fine, kind of cute and adorable. Just her overworld sprite, her face just looks scary. We'll just keep her sideways until hopefully she evolves. Oh, Scott, that's a cute Pokemon you have with you. You must not see its face. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say? What kind of task? I see, that sounds a little difficult. But when something, when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that's right, I completely forgot. Your poker beer came back from the repair shop. And cool, we're slowly filling up our menu. The Poke Gear. Poke, Pokemon Gear, or Poke Gear as it's often called, is whatever trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Poke Gear to make a phone call, too. Do you remember how? Let's see. I think this is the game where it doesn't matter if you say yes or no. It's probably most of the games where it doesn't matter if you say yes or no, where it does it either way. As I was saying, I think this is the game where it doesn't matter if you say yes or no, you're still going to get the same response. Like, oh yeah, isn't the way you do this? Wait. Just, yep, just power on the Poke Gear and touch the telephone button, okay? The names of the people you can call automatically register. Just select one to give her, him or her a call. I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Yep, technology is crazy. And she doesn't even say, like, goodbye or anything. She's just like, yeah, take this. And let's head out of New Bark Town and head on to our adventure if I can walk the right way. And, oh, we don't have the running shoes yet. Why do you have to delay it until we get to the first town? Wait one second. Please give us Pokeballs. I would love you forever, Professor. And we could be best bros for life. Oh, are you going to show us? I completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. We're getting old men's number is just how I want to start off a Let's Play. I'll call you if anything comes up. No Pokeballs? No! I want to catch all the weird Pokemon that show up right away. So, as we head on the Route 29, I think I'm going to be that jerk and end off this episode here. So on this episode, we got our Chikorita, or Basil. I gotta start Basil, Basil, Basil. There is no more Chikorita. Only Basil, Basil, Frazzle, Frazzle, Miss Frizzle with the lizard from Magic School Boss. Weird references that don't make any sense. So we got our Pokegear, we headed out of our town, we headed on to Route 9 tw 29, and we're going on to our big grand new adventure in Let's Play. So I hope you guys and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you stick around for more of this Let's Play. I've been Saves Untitled, and I'll see you guys next time.